welcome today is december 21st 2020 and i'm here to do our daily check-in so let's begin if you're wearing headphones please lower the volume I welcome you, my spirit guides and holy angels, and the highest and greatest good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and give this a spray, as always. Okay. And let me go ahead and burn some sage. So guys, today's a big day. <laughs> We're in the age of Aquarius, right? And um, if you're looking to the night sky, uh, if you look um, for Saturn and Jupiter, you could see a big star in the sky. So what I'm feeling is that, you know, with these new changes that is coming through for the next 200 years, right? So they say. Um, there's a lot that's going on. You know, this weekend, I just took the time to really stop working so dang much. Because <laughs> I've been overworked, guys, you know. Trying to get um, personal readings out to you all. Um, but what I'm seeing here is that this great conjunction happens when Jupiter and Saturn align and both planets are associated with authority, but each are very differently. Jupiter is a generous leader who is associated with health, wealth, and having a good time, while Saturn favors strict responsibility and setting limits. So it, it's a, it's a happy balance, right? I really feel like, um... There's going to be a lot of change, guys, um, from here on out. So now that we're, we're getting out of the Capricorn um, energies, now we're going into Aquarius energies. And that's big, you know, considering that we've been in the Capricorn energies for the past year. So, which is in my element, but thankfully I have Aquarius in my sixth house. <laughs> and Vedic astrology. <laughs> So, with that being said, I would also like to uh, go over a few things before I get on with today's channeling. And first of all, um, I would like to share that Morgan Marsh, okay, has sent me some lovely gifts, guys, okay? And she had gifted me um, so many decks. Um, I'm not sure if I pulled all of them out, but I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine nine decks wow so she had gifted me what's the tea by fire witch tarot and also what's brewing also by fire witch tarot i also have um a few decks here this one is what's my purpose by psychic star i also have another one from psychic star with the timing oracles Okay, and um, I'm not exactly sure who this is, but I do have a replica of it. I believe it's um, Universe Has Your Back. And this author, let's see here, is by Gabrielle Bernstein. Okay, and there's two variations of this. And so today, um, I would like to work with the alternative deck that I don't have. Um, so thank you, uh, Morgan, for that. Also, I have Divine Moon Empress um, love language cards, guys. You know, I actually follow Divine Moon Empress on Instagram. That's how I found out about her. Um, so that's really interesting that um, 
that she had gifted me cards from her and also Deeper Desires by Bridget Rao and of course y'all know I like Bridget Rao and finally we have Twin Flame Journey Messages 2 from Mystic Moon Oracles this is actually the very first Mystic Moon Oracle deck I, I have so thank you Morgan for this lovely gift and I can't wait to use it in today's um, channeling and also guys um, I have received uh, lavender honey from Kirsten so thank you Kirsten for this lovely honey she's been wanting to send this to me forever and ever um, but uh, what's so special about it is that it's made from lavender which um, my divine masculine loves and I love it guys I tasted it over the weekend and it, it's yummy um, so thank you uh, Kirsten for this beautiful gift and this particular honey was made on Prince Edward County so thank you so much this is so wonderful guys thank you for thinking of me for this holiday season and it really means so much and uh, not only that you know with the gift of um, you know, receiving donations and um, cards. Thank you so much because your contribution actually helps other people, you know, who also need guidance. And so thank you so much, you know, for gifting me these items. You guys have no idea how much gratitude and love I have for each and every one of you. I really do, guys. So, oh, thank you. And then, uh, finally, I just um, posted this on Instagram. I still have it, guys. Okay, and it's up for grabs. It is this lovely pearl and um, orange uh, stone bracelet. Okay, and this one activates your sacral chakra, which is uh, dealing with creativity, with passion and desire, but also um, keeping it real. And it looks so beautiful, guys. It is blingy and beautiful. You know, so if this is calling your name, go ahead and check it out. This is made from uh, freshwater pearls. So... I really love this. It, it's so earthy and natural. And um, someone had mentioned that, um, you know, it would be nice if I made a pearl with blue, the color blue, because she was pale skinned. Um, so give me some time, honey, and I'll make it, okay? I only make these around the holidays uh, when I have time. And so um, I, I haven't made, um, this is my second bracelet for the season that I've made. So last year I made a lot so maybe during Christmas Day I'll be making some more because on Christmas guys I don't like to do anything but watch dramas and make jewelry <laughs> that's been a tradition of mine so I really hope uh, that you enjoy these lovely pieces and just know that it's a one-of-a-kind okay I don't replicate um, the things that I make unless it's requested right so I really hope that you enjoy this piece. So let's go ahead and get on with the channeling. Dear Spirit, please reveal to me what is the tea on Divine Masculine? <laughs> What is the tea around Divine Masculine? What is the tea, please, Spirit? And what is the tea on Divine Feminines? What is going on with Divine Masculines and Divine Feminines in this collective? Thank you. So, masculines, we have creativity muncher. <laughs> Steals your ideas, copies your work, duplicates, feeds off you. Wow. So, you know, there is someone who is really feeding off of divine masculine. Okay, that's what I'm feeling. Uh, someone is actually stealing uh, the ideas um, of this uh, person. Okay, there could be a copycat or a catfish. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I also see that uh, someone is really replicating uh, divine masculine from what I can see. I also see here scarcity tactics. Wow. You know, what I'm feeling also is that maybe masculines feel like they don't have enough. Maybe this is actually divine masculine themselves that, you know, they're actually copying other people because um, they don't really feel whole or genuine on their own. That's what I'm feeling. It, it's like a lack mentality. And finally, happiness ma uh, hater. Wow. Wow. So what I'm getting here is that masculine, you know, they're looking at other couples and they're seeing how other people are happy around the holidays. But what I'm getting is that masculine isn't happy. And honestly, it really feels like this masculine isn't happy with their current marital circumstance. Okay, and uh, leaving the divine feminines out in the cold, you know, for some of you. But also, this masculine could be looking at you, uh, feminine, seeing that you're happy, and they're they're hating on that. So masculine here is feeling like they don't have enough. You know, they're not feeling the creativity. Hell, maybe this masculine needs this bracelet. <laughs> I'm serious, guys. Masculine needs um, a little fire uh, and passion and creativity, you know, in their um, area over there. That's what I'm saying. So, masculine is hating um, on their life, from what I can see. And with the feminine, we have marrying for money. Wow. Now, this could be you, feminine. Some of you feminines are still married to your divine counterpart for money. Wow. And for some of you feminines, you're thinking that your masculine is married to a karmic partner for money. Take it as it resonates, okay, guys? That's the T. <laughs> also, caught a case, sexual infection, sexual disease, and a rash. Dang, feminines. Okay, where did y'all go? For some of you feminines, okay, and this isn't for everyone, y'all caught an STD, okay? Um, some of you guys uh, went off in a different direction and caught something. For some, you caught it from your spouse if you're actually in a marital situation. And, um, you know, if you're married to this person, you caught an STD from your person. Okay, and they were off cheating on you, feminine. That is the feeling that I'm getting. And for some of you feminines, if you're actually physically seeing your masculine um, every once in a blue, loon, uh, blue moon, what I'm feeling is that you had caught an STD from your divine counterpart. And you're hating on your masculine because your masculine is actually with the karmic. Jeez, what kind of... What kind of drama is this, guys? What the hell? <laughs> Child neglect. Bad parenting. Scared of. Hates parents. So, I'm feeling like these are coming from a very toxic situation. Okay? Um, for, you, for some of you feminines, you feel neglected. Okay? And for some, you could be neglecting your children. Take it as it resonates, but I really feel that you may not be uh, neglecting your children in, in a very severe case, but what I'm feeling is that maybe you feel neglected. Maybe you don't feel loved. You know, that's why you're marrying for money and not for love because maybe as you were growing up, you know, uh, you came from a broken family. And and I really feel that your your parents did not marry for for love. They fell out of it. And your sense of security is through material wealth. That's what I'm getting. And because of this negative thinking, you caught an STD some way, somehow, either from your divine masculine or your person that you're with, your karmic. That's what I'm saying, guys. Let's see what else. Dang. Wasn't expecting this today. So, Spirit, please reveal to me what else is going on beneath the surface. So, 
Spirit, please, please reveal to me what is going on in the unconscious or subconscious of this divine masculine and divine feminine. What is currently going on in the unconscious or subconscious of this divine masculine and divine feminine? What is going on, please, Spirit? Hater, dang. You know, I really feel like masculine is possibly hating on you, feminine, especially if you're in a marital situation. I feel that if you're stuck in, in a marriage or in a commitment with the karmic, masculine is hating that, right? And uh, for some uh, of these masculines, um, they're hating on someone who is more creative and more passionate than they are. Maybe uh, this masculine is stuck in a rut and they're, they're stealing ideas from another person is what I'm feeling. And, you know, also what I'm getting is that this masculine is wanting to go on a movie date. You know, I, I feel like this is in regards to like feeling like they're not enough. You know, another thing that I'm getting here is that perhaps some of these masculines are no longer enjoying watching movies. I feel like some of the movies that they're watching and, you know, we're, we're getting closer to the holidays, guys, okay? You know, masculine um, is not liking the holiday movies, okay? You know, I feel like um, it, it really shows that this masculine doesn't have enough. That's the feeling that I'm getting. They, you know, I feel that this masculine is putting up a false mask about where they're at and their present circumstance. And guys, you know, another thing about the age of Aquarius is standing in your true authenticity. You know, being fake it is no longer working. So in the whole past year in 2020, if masculines were just sitting complacent, not doing a damn thing about like, you know, what they've been hiding, you know, especially, uh, you know, in the past year, it, it's now being, uh, you know, uh, forced in the light. It's now coming to light is what I'm getting. Now Maslin sees that their happiness um, is really important because they're hating life. They're hating um, how other marital uh, couples are, are so happy and it feels so genuine. And Maslin doesn't even feel this with their person. Also, you know, if they see that their divine feminine is married to another person and they see that their feminine is married to someone for money, they don't like that either because they feel like they don't even have enough to give to the feminine and that's why the feminine is stuck on the karmic for money. Dang. Also, we have investigating. Masculine, okay, is spying on you, feminine. That's what I'm getting, dang. So if you guys are in a marital situation, masculine is checking in on your marital status from what I can see. And they're hating on it, guys. They're not liking what they're seeing. You know, they feel lack. They feel like they're not good enough. They're like, you know, if feminine over here is still stuck in a marital situation or, you know, with another person, how, how, how could they, you know, bring more to the table if they don't even have money to begin with? They feel like they don't have enough. Maybe they're not good enough. And they're not really enjoying themselves by, you know, or sitting at home watching Netflix all by themselves, right? And for some of these masculines, they're actually in a marital situation where they're not happy. It feels fake. That's what I'm saying, guys. Wow. So, feminines, you need to check yourself, okay? If you're marrying uh, someone for money, why? Is that the only reason why that you're, you're staying stuck in a marital situation from what I can feel? I mean, hell, I see you caught an STD over here. You need to check yourself. <laughs> 
in more ways than one, right? Like, is your head all together, you know? Uh, why are you stuck in a marital situation if it's just for money? Because your masculine over here is thinking that, you know, you are needy. You're codependent on a relationship that isn't serving. He possibly caught something. Now, this could be for your masculine. That's for some of you. But this possibly came from your karmic who is out cheating on you right now. And you're not happy. And the only reason why you're still stuck is because of a piece of paper. And look, you're born to shine. You know, all that glitters is in gold, though. You need to check yourself because you caught an STD. You know, whatever this STD was, it was definitely karmic. Okay. Nothing good comes from, you know, having an STD. So, someone somewhere down the line you know had a case of infidelity okay whether it being your divine masculine or this could be with the karmic that's what i'm saying you were born to shine you weren't born to be receiving these venereal diseases you know because some of you guys have a rash okay that's what I'm saying. Now, this this is not for everyone, but, you know, it's definitely coming through. So I have to uh, speak about it, right? That's what I'm saying. And finally, we have getting played. Manipulation, lies, and control. Beneath the surface, you know, because of you being neglected, you're, you allowed yourself to be manipulated, which is from your karmic. Also, this could be from your divine masculine. You know, you're, you're accepting of lies. Okay, hence the reason you have no boundaries. Because of, of the stuff of the, of the past, guys, okay? Because of bad parenting, you know, maybe your parents lied and, you know, and you feel insecure, okay? You hate your parents, for some of you. And this is like a deep-seated wound, a childhood wound. And you getting played is a sense of being controlled. So this obviously came from a situation of your past. Where, you know, you allowed yourself to get played in the situation. That's what I'm seeing, guys. So masculine, even though that they're hating on their feminine, who is actually stuck in a marital situation, masculine is looking into it. I feel that they're, they're trying to see, are you really happy? Because they're really hating, you know, how happy you look, especially on social media. So if you guys have like a picture, okay, where you guys are together looking like you're in each other's loving embrace, it's definitely fake because somebody here got an STD, okay? Someone cheated on somebody. That's what I'm seeing. And it's toxic, okay? Whatever this relationship is, it's it's totally toxic because this um, partnership that you have with your karmic has something to do with childhood neglect and being lied to and being manipulated. And you need to break out of this cycle and come to a realization of what is actually going on so that you can um, really control the situation for yourself and not the other person controlling you, feminine. That's what I'm seeing, you know. And this masculine is really hating about their situation, feeling like they're not good enough. So masculine is thinking a certain way, but feminines, you know, you are too. So both masculines and feminines have, you know, some issues that they have to work on about themselves. You know, whatever of the past that, you know, this masculine's thinking is no longer serving them. So both you guys need to really have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. But I feel like no one here is really talking. You guys are just spying on one another. That's what I'm seeing. Wow. <laughs> what else? Let's go ahead and see. Hmm. Let's get into the tarot. And as I said, it's 12-12. Dear Spirit and Holy Angels, please reveal to me what is going on. Yeah, and as you see that, 1212 12 and 1221 is a lot of ones and twos. You know, which is like a, a new beginning and making a decision. Which, you know, is kind of ironic. You know, that is the start of this age of Aquarius, right? 
it's about being in control, you know, and having a sense of balance. Really learning from your past and making your wrongs right. And, you know, and really showing up with your true authenticity. I mean, today is a day, guys. I mean, whew. if you guys haven't been learning for the past year about your karmic situations, especially if you're in a marital situation where you're not happy in and you married for money, you need to check yourself is what Spirit is saying. Because somebody here caught an STD and it was because, you know, Maybe they feel neglected and they, they accepted, you know, this toxic behavior as being normal. It isn't normal. And I see nothing but negative low vibrations, okay? So, Spirit and Holy Angels, please reveal to me what is the energy of divine masculines and feminines towards each other. And if karmic energy wants to come through, what is the karmic energy? What is the situation, please, Spirit, dealing with divine masculine dimensions? Thank you. So there is an apology. I feel that maybe feminines, okay, your masculine is wanting to come out and say they're sorry. Okay? They want to give you an offer. They've been investigating, you know, instead of, you know, you being married to a karmic person because of, you know, material security, you know, I feel like both masculines and feminines um, are really, you know, looking at, you know, a step deeper into themselves. Now, mind you, masculine and feminine energies doesn't have to be two separate people. This could be yourself and one and how you need to really balance out these two different energies within yourself so that you can come into union with self and then union with your divine counterpart. Okay. Take what resonates. But I really feel like you need to really be um, a little bit more uh, forgiving of yourself so that you can give actually in the physical and make a choice or decision okay about like not making the right you know decisions that's what I'm seeing you know this is about being scarce okay uh, not having enough you know, that's why masculine, the masculine energy is feeling like they don't have enough within themselves to offer you what your wants and needs are in a materialistic sense, okay? And feminines, you need to check yourself, you know, why are you marrying someone here for money, okay? Is it money or love? You know, because uh, happiness um, is definitely uh, the key okay, to, to everything, right? And no one here is being happy. This has something to do with, uh, you know, the past dealing with the childhood neglect. You were born to shine and rise above this negative energy, okay, masculine or feminine is what I'm feeling. And also, you need to end a cycle so you can have a new beginning. So if you're stuck in this energy and if this is your um, situation, you need to close out this cycle so you can have a new beginning and really be more giving to yourself. I feel like this is more self-love, self-care, okay? And also what I'm seeing is really have the passion. So for some of you, okay, and this came up on the masculine side, you know, you're, you guys are stealing idea and you're copying uh, your work from other people, possibly from someone who is more creative than you are, someone who has more intuition, okay, maybe they're more clear-minded, clear, clear -minded, okay, and you aren't. Right now, you're, you're not. You're, you're very clouded masculine, okay? So I feel like you need to really clear up your energy. And perhaps you're seeing that your feminine is in this, um, you know, energy of being creative and being passionate. But they're looking the other way. And that's what you're, you're thinking. So I see that you've made a choice to really see things for what they are. And really choose happiness, right? Because you're a happiness hater, <laughs> especially towards your feminine, you know, um, and also this could be within yourself. You're not happy right now that, you know, you're in a marital situation that you're not digging, you know, 
and feminine over here is looking at you masculine if you're in a marital situation like why are you stuck in, in a relationship that you're not happy in because are you also being stuck in a relationship because of money do you feel obligated to stay stuck because you feel lack that's why your creativity is repressed and you're hating it you're hating yourself so much right now so this is all about working on yourself okay and masculine sees that the third party situation is an issue okay and that's why masculines feels like they can't really give towards their feminine maybe it's not enough that is what this masculine is thinking and they realize that the third party situation has to go whether being on the masculine side or the divine feminine okay could be on both maybe both you guys are in marital uh situations that you both need to get out of that's why masculine here is holding back so feminines okay if you think that you know um you you want to be with your masculine and you feel like you can't because you're married for money you need to check yourself I mean, this, this is really blunt, you know, you need to check yourself, you were born to shine, you're a diamond, okay, you know, you're a lot more than what this marriage that you're attached to is for, you know, and you possibly caught a case, okay. For some, this isn't a sexual, this could be an actual legal case. Maybe you come to realize that, you know, you're more deserving than, you know, what this marriage is actually offering you in this now moment. Or perhaps this is what you're thinking about, you know, towards your divine masculine. You know, for some, you know, you're thinking about um, how you got played either from your divine masculine or from a karmic situation. Take it as it resonates. But that's what I'm seeing, right? And so uh, there's a blockage here where a decision isn't being made. And I feel like it's because what? Scarcity, lack, lack, feeling lack and feeling like you don't have enough. And I also feel that masculine is sitting here trying to manifest a change by healing over their past. Okay. And also seeing something clearly. They're just waiting for the right time. They're waiting for the right moment to walk away from a situation, you know, that they weren't happy in. That's what I'm saying, because happiness, you know, really does matter. And they're really hating how other couples here are being happy. And it's fake, guys. That's the feeling that I'm getting. It's a fake happiness. And it's definitely done with the third party situation. So masculine is investigating your situation, feminine, if you're actually in another commitment of some sort. Now, this isn't for everyone, but it could also go vice versa. Feminine, you're actually checking in on your masculine to see if uh, they're actually happy in a marital situation. Both you guys are, applying, are putting up appearances. You're not really revealing your truth. But I also feel that this masculine could be investigating this karmic because somebody got an STD and masculine hasn't been, you know, jerking around. So, so where did it come from, right? <laughs> I'm just saying, man, somebody like had a case of infidelity somewhere down the uh, line, either on feminine or masculine side, but somebody caught something and a masculine is investigating like who, what, when, where, and why or how. Masculine keeps thinking about the past. This masculine really wants to come back from it, but right now they have fear. They have fear because somebody needs to get a divorce or get out of a relationship or get out of a home environment or a situation that they're currently stuck in take whatever resonates with you but someone um, is trying to get out of a family or a, a living situation so you guys are watching each other on social media what i say you guys are checking up on each other you guys aren't really together but i definitely see that you guys are watching each other okay keeping tabs is what i'm seeing so 
I feel like, you know, there is no clarity or truth in this situation. No one is really communicating. And if you did communicate, you didn't know what to communicate on because masculine over here is, um, you know, they have all kinds of stuff in their head. They're very clouded and they feel like they're not good enough. You know, maybe, you know, like a movie isn't enough, right? Maybe this masculine thinks that you want more. And masculine is really thinking about like, are you really happy with your person or are you happy uh, being alone? You know, for some of you feminines, you're actually by yourself, but this masculine thinks that you're self-sufficient and you're doing well uh, alone, that you don't need them, right? And that's for a few of you, you know? So masculine is uh, making up stories in their mind. So that's why this masculine is doing some investigation. And I feel like it has something to do with juggling, right? Balance. Masculine is trying to balance out, you know, what is going on in their material, but also their spiritual and also their feelings. They're trying to work things out, trying to um, really, like, have a sense of stability and really go with the flow and not really be so defensive about this justice. Okay, so for some, they could be going to the courthouse. What did I say? You know, for some of you, you know, this catching a case may not be a VD, but also it could be, um, you know, a legal separation here. Okay, they're caught up in a case. This could be you, feminine, from I can see. And you are born to shine. You know, and I see that justice will prevail in this situation for some okay there is a karmic who is not really talking this could be you feminine maybe you're not talking uh to your masculine maybe some of you feminines you cut off your divine counterpart from what i can see in the heart both masculines and feminines you guys aren't happy Maybe it's because there's a karmic that is in between you and your divine masculine. But some of you feminines, you have chosen not to talk to your masculine and cut off the masculine because you're in a marital situation. Okay, and that's that's for a few of you because this is really harsh energy. To me, um, this is more karmic. And that's why there is no, no communication because a masculine is still dealing with a karmic situation because... Um, Somebody's hating on, on the happiness of this divine masculine. Masculine is hating on somebody's happiness who is a couple. And it's about family. What did I say? I don't know what this is, but somebody here was watching one of those holiday movies, right? About family coming together. And is it like that in real life? No. It's fake, you know, and I feel like some of these masculines are thinking about their feminines, you know, that they're in a marital situation, you know, and they're stuck over with somebody else, but they're doing it for money, right? And masculine is ha hating on their current uh, marital situation. They really see that you've been, you know, trying to look back, you know, feminines, you're looking at your masculines like masculine, are you really happy with your person too? You know, that's the feeling I'm getting, guys. Dang. There will be justice though. Okay. Somebody here is actually getting a divorce and everything is going to work out. You know. So that, you know, uh, happiness will prevail over the sadness in the heart. And there's movement forward towards this celebration. This, this happy ending. Wow, masculine is really going to take control. So some of these masculines, okay, they may not be expressive of how they are doing things, okay? So this is masculines making plans behind the scenes. And for some of these masculines, they're not telling you feminines what they're doing. But they've decided to move things forward. They're tired of being unhappy. And for some, uh, they could be um, losing themselves to alcohol, okay? <laughs> That's for some, not all. But I really feel that this masculine is really taking control and taking the lead about what is actually going to bring them true happiness because right now they're hating on happiness and they're not happy with their current marital situation. They're not happy. 
I mean, and if anything, do you see how um, this man is kissing this woman? It's just a kiss. There, there's no passion behind it. It's just a freaking one second peck on the cheek just for a picture. And this feminine can see how fake this is, right? You know, and masculines, they're also investigating you, feminine. I, I also feel like some of these masculines are investigating their karmic because I feel like their karmic cheated on the masculine also. Hence the reason why some of these masculines caught an STT and they, they give this STD to you, feminine. And that's for like one or two of you guys, okay? <gasps> Y'all want to say, yeah, that happened to me. Like, oh my God. But if you want to, go ahead and validate, okay? Because I see here the Ace of Wands masculine is going to take the lead and be in control and really um, step things up. They're feeling very passionate. Before, okay, they were a creativity muncher, okay? They, they weren't feeling the passion. They were trying to, you know, get it from another place. You know, they're not feeling happy. They're hating on, you know, this happiness. They're like, no, I, I'm not, you know, I'm not, I can't blah 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 you know I just masculine feels stuck it's like a stuck energy what else so masculine is deciding to give you an offer this is a commitment okay they're thinking masculine here is taking the lead about having like new beginnings guys this is two aces in a row and they're, they're uh, finally getting out of their head about making this decision about this third party, about not really working on it. This masculine admits that they haven't really been actively working on fixing the situation. You know, before this masculine's being complacent. Now, you know, the emperor's showing up. They're taking charge. You know, they're like, take no prisoners. You know, they don't care. <laughs> they're not really showing their emotions, but they're moving forward. They, they have received like some sort of guidance about what their next step should be and i feel like it's because they did some investigative work you know i feel like they're not going to put uh any work into this third party situation they're going to end it guys that's what i'm saying yeah they're ending at this long-term family connection uh relationship situationship that they have invested into for a long time there's no love in it that's why they're not happy. They're not happy, you know, and feminines, you're over here stuck to somebody for money and masculine feels like, are they good enough? You know, that's why masculine, they, they're, they're kind of scared. Like, is, do they have enough to offer you feminine? And this masculine realizes that if they want their true happiness, they have to, you know, cut off this situation. They've, they've really investigated feminines. And feminine, you need to check yourself, okay? And see, are, are you in your true authenticity also? You know, you're, you're tired of getting played. And the reason why you stayed stuck in this karmic relationship was because you were neglected as a child. And money, you know, helps pay the bills, right? So you're giving up love for money. You know, and that's for some of you guys, okay? I'm just a messenger. I mean, I know it sounds harsh, but, you know, that's kind of the reality of what's going on, especially if you're in a marital situation, right? You're stuck on a karmic situation because you feel uh, a sense of codependency on that person. So I see that masculines and feminines are, are going to balance this out okay but it's going to require some patience that's what i'm seeing so let's go ahead and see what else let's see what is the love language okay of divine masculines and feminines spirit please reveal to me what is the love language surrounding divine masculine and divine feminine What is the love language, please, spirit of divine masculine? What is the love language for this divine masculine collective, please, spirit? 
one more message. What is the love language of this divine masculine? Okay. Oh, look at this. Cute selfies. You know, this masculine, uh, their love language is taking pictures with you, feminine. You know, and taking these cute little selfies, maybe with little animals. <laughs> I don't know if you guys take pictures with animals, you know, with an animal filter, but that's what they're into. And also fireworks. Uh, perhaps this masculine likes to, you know, watch fireworks. You know, maybe um, their love language is by the new year. This masculine will like to take cute little selfies with you. Okay, going to uh, 2021 you know and really spend some quality time with you feminine that's why i'm saying like this masculine is coming like they're actually working on it guys i i wouldn't put it past this masculine that they've made a decision like starting today this masculine is going to take their life back they're not happy in whatever situation that they're in and they're they're changing they're like enough is enough you know they're they know that they're the makers or the manifestors of their own uh, situation and it starts with them also we have shared goals okay so this mask on could feel like you guys have a common uh, theme that you guys have like you know shared um, situations that you guys you know kind of vibe off of one another and that's this masculine love language like they they want to do you know things with you they want to you know see the fireworks with you and i feel like if you guys you know haven't already this masculine wants to take cute little pictures that's what i'm saying so what else feminines what is your love language towards your masculine what is your love language wow okay well, let's go ahead and take all of these. We have a first kiss. So your love language is a first kiss. Also, we have late night talks. You like to talk. Maybe you like more than your masculine, right? Your masculine is simple, but, you know, feminines, you want a weekend getaway. You want, you know, a late night conversation. You want to get away in a little jacuzzi, maybe a fireplace. You want to have kisses, you know, and you want to have a documentary. You want to document everything that happens, right? And some of you guys could be gamers, okay? Maybe you guys like to play games with one another. So if you're into online gaming or, you know, just through like, you know, a regular console, that's what I'm seeing, spending a night with each other and making a bucket list. So some of you guys want to do skydiving, right? You know, that's actually something I've asked my masculine to do if we could do like a tandem jump um, with each other. Uh, he was actually a jump master in the military. And that's actually wonderful, guys. Wow, this is beautiful. So, feminines, you know, there's a lot that you would like, you know, to express to your masculine is that you would like to have a weekend getaway and have these talks and kiss and, you know, and write down, you know, these memories and just play games with each other and write down, you know, like a list of, you know, what you guys want. And I really feel like, you know, both you and your masculine have shared goals so masculine is really open to you know sharing this bucket list with you and for some of you feminines you already have like a vision board right that's what i'm saying i already have already <laughs> like mod podge mind <laughs> that's what i'm saying that's really cute guys so what else spirit what is uh the deeper desire that masculines want with their feminines. What is this desire for the divine masculines? And what is the, the desire for the divine feminines? Please reveal to me what is it that each counterpart want with one another. Alright. Self-serving. I can't control myself. Oh my god. <laughs> so 
So, uh, masculines, if they're not with you, I feel like, you know, they just can't get enough and they possibly, uh, you know, take care of business themselves, okay? That's what I'm seeing. And also, intimate, I just want to hold you. Oh, you know, this masculine wants intimacy with you, feminine. I feel like if this masculine wasn't really intimate, this masculine really wants to share some quality time with you and just look into your eyes and just hold one another, not do anything, right? You know, no TV, just sitting there looking at each other and caressing your skin is what I'm feeling. And guys, I had a dream about this with my masculine two days ago. It was the first time, actually second time he's told me, actually this is the first time he said with words that he loved me. And it was so beautiful, and it was actually in my dream. Um, and we were laying down like this, very similar. That's that's kind of weird and ironic. <laughs> and also breathtaking. I can't catch my breath. Your love is too intense, man. I mean, this masculine can't breathe. I'm like, well, how masculine, really? <laughs> they have to take a moment, you know, to catch their breath is what I'm feeling. Now, with you, feminine, oh my god. We have blindfold. Teasing every inch enhances every sense. Well, feminine, I feel that you want to either be blindfolded or you want to blindfold your masculine, but I really feel like you want your masculine to blindfold you. <laughs> That's why, you know, it's so breathtaking that this masculine is a slowly tying something around your eyes and just like doing like soft you know kisses and you know this breath work all over you wow very sensual and then we have watching waiting and watching for the perfect moment so feminines you have been watching your mask on to see when is the right time to really play out your fantasies I really see that you've been watching your masculine to see like do they really love their uh, karmic you know I feel like you know you want to fulfill your desires and your fetishes with your divine masculine and another thing I'm getting is that you know um, you're just trusting your heart and not your eyes because you've been watching You've been watching uh, this a situation with your mask on is what I'm seeing. And you're just waiting for the right moment to get together with them. And finally, we have grabbing. Hold on tight. It's going to be a rough ride. <laughs> so, feminines, um, you can't wait to be with your mask on, okay? I'm just saying, your masculine's over here pleasuring themselves, thinking of you, and they're really thinking intimacy, you know, breathtaking, you know, a very, you know, slow, sensual, and feminine, you want, you're into this fetish, you're into this kink of not being able to see, but you want to watch, it's like, you know, you want it both ways, what in the world, do you want to grab on to something, because it's going to be rough, Hello. Wow. I'm just saying, guys. So, let's go ahead and see what else. So, this here is the Twin Flame Journey Messages 2 from Mystic Moon Oracles. And let's see what else wants to come through. So, Spirit, please reveal to me what are the messages that masculine like to say to their feminine? What are the messages that the mind masculine like to say to their feminine? What are the messages, please, Spirit? Yeah. Yeah. Would you give me the chance to make things right between us? So, masculine is really asking you, feminines, would you? Yeah. I just got sidetracked. Yes, you did, masculine. Hurry up, because feminines, they're blindfolded and they're waiting for you. They're watching for the right time. Hold on one second. All right, guys, my son is having cereal. That's why. So also we have, I just got sidetracked. I'm really bad at commitment. 
you know, masculines know they, they need to work on themselves. So they're asking, would you give them another chance, feminine? I'm I'm trying to do the honorable thing. So I really feel like this masculine's trying to make their wrongs right. And also, you still hold a piece of my heart. So I really feel like this masculine um, is really open towards you, feminine. Okay. You still hold a piece of this masculine's heart. And, you know, the question is, would you give them another chance? And finally, my family and upbringing are a bigger factor than I realized. So this masculine realizes that, you know, the situation ship dealing with their family is really affecting this relationship. And also, guys, I really feel like that's the case with you because of this child neglect. That is what I'm seeing. So... Let me go ahead and see what is the guidance message for this collective. What is the guidance message? Ethan? Shh. Okay. What is the guidance message? Please bear. I let an inner sense of quiet multiply each day as I strengthen my faith and the love of the universe. So I really feel like masculines and feminines, you know, just let your inner uh, sense of quiet just kind of multiply on its own to give you strength and that the, the universe is really supporting you at this time. Also, appreciation dissolves all blocks of the presence of my super attractor power so I really feel like you know have a sense of appreciation and all that is going on between you two is what I'm feeling better than what you always say better than I always say okay better than I always say alright guys I need to wrap this up because my son's making too much noise so let's go ahead and see what is the timing? So if this is resonating with you, and I see that, you know, this is ha actually happening now. But obviously, if there's a family dynamic or situation ship that's going on between masculines and feminines, especially if you're in a marital situation, um, or like some sort of a, a long-term commitment with someone, what is the timing aspect? When can you guys uh, see any kind of movement forward in the connection? Spirit, please reveal to me, when will Divine Masculine's Feminines find movement in this connection so they can be with one another? When will this movement happen, please, Spirit? Please give me clarity. When will the movement happen between Masculine's and Feminine's? August. Okay, so by August... I feel that things are going to be clear between masculines and feminines. Also, December. Now. It starts now. So, what I'm seeing is that now, okay, whoever this collective is, you guys, and I feel that, okay, it starts today. Masculine has made a decision to really wrap things up with a karmic situation. And when August comes around, I feel like that is when you guys can really you know get together because it's going to take some patience i really feel like there's a family situation ship here involved so you guys can't really jump into the connection right away there's other factors involved in this situation and that's what i'm seeing guys okay so i really hope that you enjoyed this reading let me know what you think and thank you again for all your comments your likes your shares and your subscribes and if you're new to my channel welcome i provide daily guidance messages here for the collective and if you'd like to book a personal reading you can reach me on my website it's www.scorpiomoonintuition.com and you can also follow me on ig as scorpio moon intuition and guys okay uh if you want to receive any of my lovely uh products Today's the last day that you can order so that it comes to you before Christmas, okay? So, um, if you haven't already, you can take out my lovely bath bombs. I have plenty in my store. Um, I also have uh, these lovely um, 
uh, love bombs and a glass jar. Okay, and also my bath salts. Um, also the sage wand. Okay, I started burning this one, so I need to take one off the the market. <laughs> what else? Uh, I also have the lovely spray. Okay, so if you guys are interested, I have that. Um, also, I have it in a smaller package, so if you guys want the protection kit, you can see all of this on my website. And also, don't forget my lovely little bracelet. It's a one of a kind. If you feel like this is for you, go ahead and claim it, okay? Because it's only one, and it's so blingy and beautiful, as you can see, you know, how it sparkles. And you'll definitely feel pretty powerful wearing this because it has a brilliant nice um pop of orange if you're into orange so i really hope you enjoyed this reading guys okay and i'll see you next time bye bye